We've got some exciting news for all you Samsung users out there. There's been a steady stream of leaks surrounding the upcoming One UI 7.0 update. And today, we're talking about one of the apps that's already available for you to download and try out. So grab your Galaxy device and let's dive right into it. As you probably heard, One UI 7.0 is slowly, but surely making its way into the spotlight. Over the past few days, we've seen a series of leaks showcasing some of the new features, design tweaks, and of course, app updates coming in this major update. One of the more recent leaks has shown us the updated app icons and UI changes for several native Samsung apps. Pretty exciting stuff. These leaks are showing us how One UI 7.0 is shaping up, but there's more to come. The good news is that one of the apps that's been updated for this upcoming release is already available for download right now. It's the One UI 7.0 voice recorder app. Thanks to Gerwin Van Giesen, we now know that the One UI 7.0 voice recorder app is readily available for download. If you want to check it out, all you need to do is sideload it onto your device and works perfectly fine, even on the latest Galaxy S24 Ultra. So let's take a look at the new features and changes you can expect from the app. First off, Samsung has made some noticeable improvements to the voice recorder app's user interface. It's now much cleaner and more streamlined. One of the key changes is the rearrangement of certain UI elements, which helps achieve a much more minimalist aesthetic. As you can see here, a list of recordings in the One UI 7.0 version now shows the time and date clearly on the left side of the screen. Plus, the play button is now encircled and sits prominently on the right, making it super easy to access. These subtle design changes really give the app a more polished feel. If you compare it to the One UI 6 version, the new UI just feels so much more modern and user-friendly. Now, if you're eager to give this a try on your own device, here's how to install it. Keep in mind, this app isn't available through the Google Play Store or Galaxy Store just yet, so you'll need to sideload it manually using the Samsung My Files app. Simply download the APK file, open the Samsung My Files app, and locate the file. From there, you can install it directly onto your device. However, if you're using One UI 6, you might need to disable the auto blocker feature at your device settings to allow sideloading apps. I know it sounds like a bit of a hassle, but if you're excited to check out the app right now, it's worth it. That said, if you're not comfortable with sideloading apps from unofficial sources, don't worry. The One UI 7.0 beta should be launching in the next couple of weeks, so you can wait for the official release. So there you have it. One UI 7.0's voice recorder app is already available for download, and it's packed with some nice UI improvements. If you want to get a sneak peek at what's coming, this is a great way to do it. And while you're here, don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. If you want to stay updated on all things One UI 7.0 and other Samsung-related news, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And if you want even more exclusive content, consider joining our channel membership. We've got some great perks lined up just for our members. The link is in the description below. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button, this physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, 
much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch LED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera Capabilities Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12-megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200-megapixel main camera alongside a 12-megapixel ultra-wide, a 10-megapixel 3X telephoto, and a 50-megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post-processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over-sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low-light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. 
The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.